Right, finally done 11 of these SBCs. Hopefully they give us some good players back and uh, we can make a decent team. If you guys need some FIFA 20 coins that are safe, cheap and reliable, then make sure you get yourself over to MuleFactory.com and go ahead and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout to get yourself 5% off your order and build on your ultimate team now and get the best players possible in your team. Also, just before we get into the video, if you guys want to go ahead and get yourself some G Fuel, make sure you head over to the G Fuel website, a link in the description to that, and go ahead and use the code NERD at the checkout for 10% off your order. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video, and as you can tell by the top today, we're going to be using 11, well, I, that's not 11, that's 10, now 11, gold upgrade packs in a game of foot champions to build our team. What I meant to say was we're allowing 11 gold upgrades to choose our foot champions team here today. So, this could be very, very interesting. If you haven't seen before, not too long ago on the channel, I actually opened up 50 of these gold upgrade packs and only got one walkout. So, I'm not really expecting any walkouts from these, I'm not going to lie. Hopefully, a couple of boards in there, maybe we'll see. Basically, the plan of action for today, I know last week when we did the 11 SPC packs, we actually chose a formation before. But as we only get two players per pack, I don't know how I'm going to really sort a formation, whether we'll even get the players for that formation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to the packs. We're going to open them up, then put all them players into a squad and then figure out a formation, what's best to go with, etc. Choose three of the players as well, extra players and subs this week and then see how it goes. So yeah, this could go really good or really bad. Obviously, it's down to my pack luck. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I get good pack luck today. We'll find out. But yes, without further ado, I think that's enough of me talking. Let's now get to the packs and I'll see you guys over there. All Alright, so as you guys can see here, here are the 11 two rare gold player packs. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and open them up. Like I said, we don't have to pick players, so we're just going to get these all into then a squad and see how it goes. So, I suppose, let's get into the first pack. Alright, two rare gold players pack number one. Can we kick it off anything good? Come on, hit us up with like a boards or a walkout for the first one EA. It's not, sadly, but it's an 82 or below. Who is going to be the face of... Of this two player pack, it is Onana. So, I'm glad about that. I'm glad I've seen a keeper because I was worried we wouldn't maybe get a keeper. So, there we go. That's a keeper secure for the team. Let's see who else is in the pack with him. All right. So, with him is Lafont. And two keepers. I don't know why I worried. We've literally been given two options there. That's decent. All right. There we go. First pack, two keepers. On to now the next one. All right. Then, pack number two. Who do we get? Inside the pack. Come on, make it a decent one, EA. You know you want to. What can we get? It's not a non boards or a walkout. So it's an 82 or below. Who is it going to be? It is Kovacic. Okay. Not bad again. That is a decent player to have. I will take that. Who is winning, though? And with him is Rudiger. Okay. That's sick. I'll take both of them. All right, then. So the pack number three. What can we get out of this one? Anything big? Come on, EA. Hit us up. With at least one board out of these packs somewhere. Uh, that's not a board, is it? That's an 82 or below again for both of the players. Who is it going to be? It is Bakioko. Once again, not too bad. Not too shabby at all. And with him is Pavon. Okay, he's got a very nice card as well. Four-star skills, three-star weak foot. That's a winger sorted out as well. Once again, not bad. I'm liking this. All right, on to now the next one then. What do we get inside this pack? Can we get anything good? Let's have a look. It's at least a board. It's a board. So it's an 83 or above. What? 83 to 85. It's Belgium. It's striker. It's Romelu Lukaku. 85 rated Lukaku. Okay. That's a striker now sorted as well. That is sick. 85 rated Romelu Lukaku. All right. Let's just skip and see who else is with it. This is not going bad so far. All right. Lukaku as a striker. And we've got Chiesa as well who can link up with him. Not bad at all. But Lukaku, that is sick. Okay. All right. So on to now pack number four. Or, no, five. I think this is pack number five. Who is going to be inside the pack? Anything good. It's an 82 or below. So who do we get inside the pack? Come on, make it someone decent. Ward Prowse, not bad, not bad. All right, Ward Prowse and Kalu in this pack. Then. Not too shabby. Okay, so this is not going to be the halfway point, I believe. Well, kind of. Obviously, it's an odd number, so it's not really halfway. We haven't had any fullbacks yet. So, EA, if you want to hit us up with anything, you know, give us some fullbacks in here. This is going to be 82 or below. Can we get a left back or a right back? Or we might even have to play a back three. We haven't had many defenders. Another goalkeeper, though, in Viviano. But can we get a defender in here? No, but we get Mascherano. All right, then five packs remain. We still need some fullbacks, maybe a left winger as well. I don't know if we got one of them yet. I'm not too sure who's going to be in the next pack. It's at least a board. It's not a walkout, but it is a board. Who is it? England. 
It is goalkeeper. That is going to be Pickford. Okay. Once again, a decent goalkeeper option. Like, we're getting too many goalkeepers right now. All right. Hopefully, a defender is joining him or something in this pack. Oh, it's a striker. Okay. But still, we've got four packs remaining. We need both a left back and a right back if we play a four at the back. Let's see if EA can give us them. All right, then. On to the next one, then. Come on, please. I know I'd like a massive player still, but, you know, fullbacks are needed. I'm not going to lie. It's another board, though. It's another board. So it's an 83 to an 85. It's Italian. It's centre back. Finally, a defender. It is a Serbia, I believe. Yes, a Serbia. Okay. I mean, not the fastest defender, but it is a defender at the end of the day, which is not bad. All right. So joining him is. Giovinco, another forward. Okay, three remain. I'm going to go in the middle one. Odds on they can give us a left back and a right back in the same pack. You know you want to. Yeah, hit us up here. Come on. Who do we get inside this pack? It's an 82 or below for both of the players who are going to be inside the pack. A centre mid. Tielemans. I mean, once again, a Premier League player, but we need defenders, EA. We need defenders. Come on, be a defender with him. Be a defender with him at least, please. Oh my god. I think we've got about five, six strikers. I'm not going to lie. Here we go then. Pack number one of the last two. Who's going to be inside the pack? Please, EA. Please. It's at least the boards. It's an 83 to an 85. Will it be a defender? It's Spanish. It's centre mid. It's Fabian. Another centre mid. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's skip. Come on, please be a defender in here as well. Please. We need defender. It's a left wing. I don't think I had a left wing, actually. That's not too bad. But that means we need a left back and a right back out of this pack to play a back four. Or just another centre back for even a back three, I think. Here we go, then. The final pack in three, two, one. Bang. On the nose pack. Who do we end off for the 11 packs that we get for our squad? Who's going to be inside here? Come on, EA. It's an 82 or below for both of the players. What players are there? It's a centre-back. All right. But it's 51 pace in Raul. But still, it is a centre-back. I think we need one more. So let's skip and see who else is with him. So who is going to be the final player of the 23? It is Simon. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Let's now go ahead and put all them players into a squad. I also forgot to go ahead and make a new squad. So let's just call it uh, Gold Geezers. Like that. Gold geezers. Lovely. Love to see that. All right, then, boys. So here are all the players that we got. As you can see here, we've got all 23 of them, I think it was. 23? No, 22 players. So it's time to figure out um, who's going to go where. Like I said, we're going to have to play three at the back formation as we have no fullbacks. But let's just try and figure this out. All right. So formations. Let's have a look at some three at the back formations. All right. So we've got either 3 1 4 2. We've got 3 4 1 2. We have got 3 4 2 1. 3 4 3. 3 5. 5 2, and that is it. Okay. You know what? I think I might go for the 3 5 2, like so. So let's get the center backs in positions. All right. So there's our three center backs in the game. We've got Kovacic, then that can come in somewhere here. I think in goal will go Pickford. Then in my central cam, I think we're going to go for Tielemans, who can then link with Damari Gray. Yep, that's definitely Damari Gray. And Romelu Lukaku, where's he at? Bang. We also have Chiesa, actually. So if we switch maybe these sides around like that. Get a bit more link there. And then we did get Fabian. Where's he at? Fabian. Maybe drop in there. Or do we go for Ward Prowse? And in terms of our left mid, what left mid did we get? We've got Simon, we've got Thoram, and we've got Kalu. I think our best bet there is probably to go Thoram. Or however you really pronounce his name. Actually, we might even be better going to Bakioko. Switch them two then around for a little bit. About, about the same chemistry, but Bakioko at least is actually a CDM. And to be honest, I think that is the best we're going to get. If I bring on some people onto the bench that I mainly want, Mashrana can definitely sit on the bench as well. I think we have come up with the best possible team we can use. So, if we go through the team once again, as you can see, in goal is Pickford. Central centre-back is Raul. Right centre-back is Rudiger. Left centre-back is Aserbi. Left defensive midfield is Bakioko. Right defensive midfield is indeed Kovacic. Right wing is Chiesa. Left mid is uh, Thuram. Cam is Antilowans. Left striker is Damari Gray. And right striker is Romelu Lukaku. All right, there we go. There is our 11 gold upgrade team. So you know the drill. It is now time to get into a game of foot champions with this team. Let's see how this goes. It's going to be interesting. Let's get into it. I kind of just forgot to start recording again. And you've completely missed the team. What I'll do is I'll pause it and I'll show you his team. So, if we go over to uh, player ratings. His team is to Stegen, Bartra, Hermoso, Kappa, Gaia, Casemiro, Isco, Vinicius Jr., Hernani, Rodrigo, and Griezmann. So, it's a pretty decent team. I'm not going to lie. He's got a decent team. Yeah, uh, he's got a decent team. I don't know how we're going to do in this game, but we'll see. All right, lads. Let's do it. Come on. Uh, Demai Gray. Demai Gray. Into Lukaku. Lukaku. Cut that back. L 
No! I thought he still had it then. It's Damari. Damari, cut that back. Damari Gray. Oh! I just realized I've been saying Damari Gray this whole time. It's not even Damari Gray. Oh my god. Make a run, Gray. Go on, Gray. Gray. Oh! I thought I was about to rebound in. Okay, that was close. Unlucky. Here we go. Play that forward. Andre Gray. Into Lukaku. Lukaku on his left. Finesse shot. Romelu Lukaku. There we go. That's what we like to see. 42 minutes in. He gets his first proper chance. Goes out with his feet. Finesse is it into that left. And gets us the goal to make a 1-0. What a finish, Lukaku. Love to see that. Oh, 1-2 there. Lukaku again. Lukaku's through. Lukaku just before. Oh, my God. Well, there we go. That wraps up the first half. We end it like that. But at least we're 1-0 up. So I completely forgot another rule I said about this game. Where we only have three subs. So we've got a load of people just left on the bench anyways. I mean, we can only actually use three. So it doesn't really matter. So in terms of the subs, we're going to go with... Pavon in here somewhere. Um, I think we're going to drop back Yoko, bring Teal Lemons back like that. Put Pavon Cam. Put Lukaku now on the left as well. Gray on the right. And see how that goes in the second half. All right. Second half. Here we go. Uh oh. Oh, that's a goal. That's a goal. He's going to sweat that as well, isn't he? He's offside. Hey! That's what you get for trying to sweat it. Disgusting. Oh, no. Not another chance here. Oh, God. Offside. Offside. Okay. Well, I thought it was offside, but there we go. What all? Brilliant. He's actually sweating it again. Oh my god, he's actually sweating it again. What a sweaty bugger against this team and he has to score sweat goals. Fuming. Oh, he's flicked it over him. Yes, the sweat. Oh, save again. Gray. Gray! Oh my god! To stay and win a save again? Are you actually kidding me? Here we go, Raul! Oh! Into Romelu. Romelu Lukaku! Oh my days. That is poor. Come on, one last chance. One last chance. Make it happen. Here we go, Gray. Oh, out on the right to Pavon. Pavon, cut it inside. Oh no, man! No! One more. Oh, just wanted one more attack. But there we go. We managed to lose 2-1. I mean, that guy completely was a sweat. He sweaty goal twice against my team. Literally, my centre-backs have like 50 pace. They cannot get to sweats. And that's how we won. But yes, boys, that does wrap up the game. As you can see there, confirmation of the score. The guy won 2-1. I personally don't think he deserved to win at all. I mean, literally, let me show you the stats now. We had 14 shots to his four, seven on target to his two, 52% possession. He just had the better and quicker players, and that's how he won. Literally, to Stegen was godlike as well. Should have scored more, but there we go. But yeah, boys, anyways, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Let me know in the comments any other challenges you guys would like to see for the future of FIFA 20. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.